The National Access Art Centre really draws its inspiration from Jane Cameron and her family. Her family really gave her access to the best professional opportunities as an artist and really pushed her. We want to be that for our artists. We want to give them access to the best. This exhibition, My Imagination is So Many Things, comes from a phrase that artist Jane Cameron used to say about her artwork and about her practice. At the National Access Art Centre, we house her archives. So our studio is full of artists who are practicing every day and they're surrounded by an artwork and history of Jane Cameron's works. This exhibition brings together five Canadian artists with developmental disabilities, all from the National Access Art Centre. We really want to give our artists access to the best. Platforms like the Prince Takamoto Gallery at the Embassy of Canada in Tokyo. What an incredible platform to be able to tell their stories. Hello, I'm James Cameron, brother of Jane Cameron, and she is the uh, inspiration for this beautiful exhibition taking place in Japan, and I'm very proud that uh, she has inspired a new generation of artists at the National Access Arts Centre in Calgary. She passed away in 2000, but her legacy continues, and she has inspired a new generation of artists at the National Access Arts Centre. It's been incredible to watch the, the growth and evolution of the National Access Arts Centre through the years. And uh, I, I just hope that Jane continues to inspire all these wonderful young artists who are just exploding in creativity, which is just great to see. My name is Donnie Greeno, and I am an artist. My, the artwork is called the Sheriff's Rug, and I draw with a with a marker. And then when I did that, it, I I used the black wool first, and then I did all inside. When I got that done, and I started with the multicolors and stuff like that, it was like it took me eight years to do it, and I got it done. And I'm excited to sit, show my artwork, the rug, in Japan. My name is David Ajamai Opon, and I come from Ghana. And I love to draw and paint. My, my piece of art is Shop for Flooding Home World Art World Greatest Living. My artwork is about flooding of water and, and, and the water gets through people's house and it spoils a lot of things and it brings a lot of damage. It's about emotional. It's about emotional to me. Artist Ray Wang is a real treat to watch working in the studio. You might be able to pick up some hints about the way that he works when you look at his paintings. He is a very excited artist and he gets really thrilled to see a large piece of paper. And you can see in his large gestures on that piece of paper how excited he is to tackle it with some color. Ray this summer has been working with these large pieces of paper that will fill up a table and he walks around them and fills them with little tidbits and clues of what he's thinking about. So in his work you'll see calculations, you'll see some dates, you'll see some references to characters and cartoons that he's enjoying. I am ideal and I am an artist. I feel blessed and I'm lucky and I'm deeply appreciated. Those lines on the um, glass is my name and it's my name, it's my signature. You just fall in love with it, you know, you just, those lines are so powerful and because um, they touch, you know, because every word can touch because uh, the words is like art by itself. The lines can tickle you and 
um, tickle your senses. So all of all those things, when you read it, it's like um, you are so into it. Love my art. I adore my art. I am a happy young man, and I love to learn. The things you like to do, don't stop. Because if you have passion, and you know, between passion and desire, you know, follow your heart desire and do what you like. To be an artist, it's like you don't think. You flow with the, with the paper. And the, your pen is light like a feather. So you don't think, you just do it.